Olar and welcome back to Barcelona for Mobile World Congress. This report is always brought to you by the great folk at Belkin, more about them later. I'm about the front of the TCL booth here. But what you're seeing here is a pre-show display for the media. That's where I got my hands on with a stack of TCL products, including the Ray Neo X2 AR glasses. Now the big feature with these is real-time translation, Chinese to English, and here it is, multiple questions in real time. So here we go. All right, ready? Hi, The response takes two seconds. Hi, hello, yes. I do know Ni Hao anyway, but uh, thank you very much. <laughs> the next translation started coming through within five seconds. There's a bit happening on the screen, but once you see it, it's pretty cool. I come from Australia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> from Sydney. <laughs> oh, Sydney. Yeah. That was Sydney me, Australia. not the glasses. Not a full readback by me, but it was on the screen. Very beautiful country, yes. And I'm surprised, even in a noisy room, how well it picks it up. That's right. Yeah, that's Fantastic. Really cool. Awesome. Thank so you, it's right? Chinese to English for now. More languages are planned. But when will we see it? And I expect that probably in the second half of this year, we will see first uh, commercial availability of this product for consumers to buy. Uh, of course, it's for early adapters who are happy to enjoy such a new technology. And I'm very excited to, to see this. Me personally, you know, I'm living in China and I don't really speak Chinese. This is going to be very, very helpful, I'm sure, uh, using these glasses. Next up, next wear SXR smart glasses. Now these won the Best Connected Consumer Device Award at MWC's Global Mobile Awards. They are like watching a 130 inch screen four meters away with dual 1080p micro OLED displays. Nextwear S XR weighs in at 82 grams. There's a number of adapters too for your eyesight. iOS devices are compatible with an adapter, so that's great news. I've used an earlier model in the past and while I'm traveling, it's absolutely brilliant for watching movies, although it does look a little bit odd. But that's what they said about the first AirPods. When you think TCL, you usually think TV displays. And when it comes to tablets, Next Paper. Next Paper 2.0 goes a step further to combat the fatigue our eyes suffer staring at screens all day. Next Paper 2.0 is up to 150% brighter than the original up to 500 nits. So that's a badly needed update as the matte looking screens aren't as bright as say an iPad on max power, but they do give you a viewing result that's somewhere between a color e-ink and anti-reflective LED screen. It really is pleasant to look at and by cutting down on blue light, it also helps when it comes to eye health. TCL screens stand alone in the market and there was a little bit of excitement as one phone also had an Next Paper display, not this one, but it will be interesting to see that develop. So while the TCL Next Paper 11 and TCL Tab 11 will be launching globally soon, the smartphones, the TCL 40 series, will be launching in the US first, so we'll have updates soon on availability elsewhere, including in Australia. This video and many more from Mobile World Congress 2023 made possible by Belkin. And just before this trip to Spain, I unboxed a whole heap of new gear from Belkin that will protect your phone, make using your phone a lot easier with wireless charging, the best iPhone and Android wireless chargers you can buy. The best cables too. Belkin has been a world leader in technology accessories for more than four decades. So when you're shopping for accessories, think Belkin first. So thanks to Belkin again and TCL for giving us a sneak peek at the products in the pipeline. Pretty cool stuff. More reports coming your way from Barcelona. And of course, I'll be back with Tim Gilbert live on Sunday on Sky News Australia Weekend Edition. That's it for now. Keep it tuned though to imagematrix.tech.